This is question number three of the day. This one comes in through the email. And this question I actually don't get very often. The question is, why should I get a backup solar generator or power station instead of having a local solar company install a small backup system on my house? This is an absolutely great question, and it's not one that's asked very often, but is really the epitome of why people look at these backup systems for emergency backup power. So I want to break down a few different specs and prices and things to really describe why most people, and including myself, go with a backup solar generator system rather than going with a system that goes on the house. And the biggest thing, I'm just gonna use the EcoFlow Delta Pro. You can see I've got tons of systems behind me and I've got two more shelves in my garage of systems that I test on a regular basis. And I'm gonna use the EcoFlow Delta Pro right now because I've had mine for a long time. It's what I use to back up my house. So the EcoFlow Delta Pro, if you were to have two of them, would be a 240 volt setup, which means you could run pretty much anything 240 volt in your house, excluding heavy electric heat loads. But that with one extra battery and 2,400 watts of solar, you would have a 7,200 watt inverter output, which is fairly large. You'd have 240 volt power for running well pumps and simple things that use 240 volt. You have 2,400 watts of solar, which is enough solar to recharge the whole system in a day. And you'd have 10,800 watt hours of battery capacity, which for emergency loads is usually anywhere from 12 to 36 hours of runtime, depending on what you need to run, which usually means that even if you have one cloudy day between two sunny days, you're still gonna be just fine. Now that system was normally about $15,600 after taxes and shipping and everything like that. Uh, oftentimes there are sales going on at poweredportablesolar.com. That one would be about $13,900. That's about a $1,700 savings, almost $2,000 right there, just by ordering at poweredportablesolar.com. It would take about one week from the time that you order to have all of your equipment on hand. Plus, if you wanted, you could reinvest those savings of $1,700 and for $1,600 get a smart home panel. What the smart home panel allows you to do is take 10 circuits that you select that you want to run during an emergency and you would put them or your electrician would put them into that smart home panel. And once the grid goes down, that system will turn on in about 20 milliseconds. That's fast enough to keep everything running very easily. And you can control that smart home panel from your phone by having Wi-Fi connected to it. So you can have Wi-Fi built onto one of the circuits that is in your smart home panel. You can control, you could be on vacation in Thailand or in Europe or anywhere, and you'd be able to monitor and control your whole system from your phone. And there's even financing options available. That way you know you're getting a good deal and that you can do easy monthly payments on it all at poweredportablesolar.com. If you were to have a local installation company come do this. I searched for multiple different states, getting an average between all of them. Uh, they were all very close in price, but on average, it would cost for the exact same, pretty much the exact same system, would cost about $28,100. So that's $14,200 more than just getting the system yourself and having the electrician very affordably install that smart home panel. So it's double the price to have a local solar company do that same setup with a 7,000 watt inverter, 2,400 watts of solar panels, and about a 10,000 watt hour battery capacity. So you technically have less battery capacity for paying double the amount. It takes an average of six months for these systems to get installed, mostly due to permitting and just because these companies oftentimes drag their feet. This would be considered a small system. And so for that, it's not gonna be a high priority for them. So those will often get left behind. I actually know multiple people who work in the solar industry and they face this on a regular basis. Most companies will do financing and you'll end up paying that. The average is a 20 year loan at around four to 5%. That's the average currently and interest rates are really high right now. So if you were to do that, you'll end up spending about $44,400 for the same system that you could get for 14,000. So yes, they are expensive. These backup solar systems are expensive, but not nearly as expensive as having a residential local solar company do the installation. And that is why so many people, including myself, look at these power stations as a viable backup system. 
And the beauty of it is they can be grown over time. That Delta Pro system, I'd be able to add up to three more expansion batteries and double the solar input. And I'd still be able to do that for less than the original cost of 14,000. And I'd be able to theoretically run my house very comfortably. Actually, that's what I do at my house. I have the full setup for the Delta Pro. There's two Delta Pros, four expansion batteries, 4,800 watts of solar. As long as we get some sun every day, I have no problems running my entire house comfortably. Anything heat related is propane in my house. That's going to be one of the major factors on why it's so good there. But the point is to answer this question, why backup solar generator over a simple backup system installed by a local company? It'll cost a third to a half as much, depending on how you do the payment. You'll get technically a larger, more powerful system than what most local companies will install. And you're going to get it within about a week. So you don't have to wait six months. So if there's a power outage in two weeks from now, you're set. You've got everything and you're good to go. For about that same price, I will literally be taking my house off grid this year using a new upcoming solar generator backup power system. It is so large and expandable, I'll literally be able to go off grid, never having a bill again. And yeah, I don't get the credit on my electric bill, but I'm not also paying $200 to $250 a month on a loan for 20 years. So it's actually the fastest way to get my money back is just to eliminate my bill completely. So for around the same price of $44,000, I'll be completely off grid at my house and won't ever have to worry about power ever again. If you have questions on these types of systems and which one would work best for you, simply shoot me an email to info at poweredportablesolar.com. I'd love to help you. The main things that I'll need to know is what is your overall goal? If you're trying to go off grid, it's gonna be more expensive. If you're just trying to get a backup system, it's gonna be very affordable. Which plays into the second question is what is your budget? We wanna work within your budget. The third question would be how soon do you need the system? The fourth question is, what is your city and state? I want to look up the solar conditions where you live so I can learn about the solar peak hours and stuff. If I get your actual address, it's even better. I'm not going to sell your information to anyone. And then lastly, and almost most importantly, is what do you want to run on the system? You can't just say an average house because the average house is, there is no such thing as an average house. It's very helpful to know how many fridges. Do you want to run a well pump? Do you need to run a water heater? Is the water heater electric or gas? Do you want to run a central AC, a furnace, the oven, the stove, the clothes dryer, all of those things? I need to know if it's propane, natural gas, or if it's electric. All of that helps us factor in what system's going to work best for you. Either way, be prepared. Having a backup solar generator system is one of the easiest ways to be prepared because then your gas generator can be as a backup to your solar and your solar is going to do the majority of the work all the time. Thanks, guys. Be prepared. See you on the next video.